Hey there guys, Welchanter here, and we are back with another 7 Days to Die video. Yes, we are. So, today, what we are going to do, guys, we are going to put this glass castle that we built in part 1 to the test against a zombie horde. Yes, we are. And I cannot wait. Simply cannot wait to see what happens. But what I'm thinking right now, let's get some defences in line. We're going to stick with wood, because normally castles back in, though, you know, way, way back, well before, you know, our common day civilian were born and, you know, everything like that. So, we are going to stick with wooden defences. So, if you've watched, like, Game of Thrones and Vikings and stuff like that, their castles and whatnot were made out of wood and their defences were made out of wood and whatnot. So I think we should stick with that wood theme. So here we go. So let's grab two load of 500 spikes and we'll go from there. So we're not going to show you the whole of it, guys, uh, trying to build it. We're just going to put down a few and carry on as normal. So... We've got a few either side of the door. We've got a few this side as well. And we're going to go, we're going to do like a loop right around the building. So, what I was thinking halfway through putting those ones down on the floor, that basically they're going to have climbers as well on this horde night. So, I was thinking let's put some above as well, just in case they get through the first defense, which is the floor. So, we'll just uh, skip this whole loop of it, and we'll uh, show you in a second, guys. So, here we go. Okay, so we're just finishing the right-hand side now, and we are coming to the end, last block, and we have done a complete loop right around. So, basically, you're thoroughly thinking, looking at this now, why have you put spikes going away? Well, basically, I've got a rock over there with a bed on top and this is where I'm going to be starting off from. This gives me a clear runway with it being protected as well all the way down. So there we go guys, that is what it looks like. Oh my god. I got a feeling we are, what, what do you reckon guys, do you think we are going to survive? I, I got a feeling we are going to survive guys. I got a feeling we are going to survive. This castle in part one didn't take us too long. I think it took us about like six days to uh, get built and recorded. So I'm just hoping that it lasts against a zombie horde. So I was thinking, right, this gap's a bit too, uh, a bit too wide. So let's uh, just close that gap up a bit by putting two spikes either side. So it works nicely. You can get through. It's not a problem. And I think... That is going to catch some zombies if they get through. More than likely, guys, they are not going to go for the doors. They are going to go for the glass. Because the glass is obviously a lot softer to them. I'm not going to put the block sensitivity up or whatever. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So, probably like one or two hits from a zombie will smash those glass blocks. So, this is where we're going to start off from, guys. One second, get up here. We are going to start off from the very front balcony. Alright. So, basically, we are going to draw all the zombies to the front of the castle. That's what I want. That's preferably what I want. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So, basically, this is it. In a couple of seconds now, guys, we are going to witness a horde night. Yes, we are. So, let's carry on, guys. Let's have some fun. Let's kill some zombies. Okay. So, we are on Horde Night. Just before Horde Night now. It's 2116. And we're going to have a lot of fun. I can hear some zombies. Where are they too? Just searching now. I can't see him. Where is he to? It's not below me. This is the best thing about this type of castle, guys. You can see right through. You can find out roughly where that zombie is just by looking through the glass. Simple as. Simple as. I can't see nothing at the moment. Let's have a walk around. Nothing at the back. 
Oh, there he is. There he is. To the left. To the left. To the left. Oh, he's, he's come through the actual two walls. He's gone through one line of defences, the walls, and he's inside. So let's get up, upstairs a minute and we'll take him out. Let's close this door a second. We're not far off Horde Night now, guys. Not far off Horde Night. We're on 21.44 at the moment, so we're not far off. We're not far off whatsoever, guys. This is going to shape up to be an amazing Horde Night. I'm hoping so anyway. I'm hoping that is loads of zombies. But this is only day 7, guys, after all. So we may have to put this castle, maybe rebuild it one day and uh, put it to the test again. So there's the zombie right by there inside the actual complex. So we're just uh, going to attract some zombies a minute because we want as many zombies as we can possibly get, guys. There he is. He's right over there. So I don't know if I should go and kill him or not. I can hear more zombies now, which is interesting. I'm just going to let him run havoc. He's not going to do much at the moment. He's only a crawler. I tell you what, let's take him out. There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh, little Ted is dead now. So that's the best thing about it. There's a zombie by there. Let's take her out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Just give her one for luck. Okay. So, Horde Knight is upon us, guys. Horde Knight is upon us. Winter has gone and Horde Knight is upon us. Let's do this. There's a few dead zombies down by there. Oh, there's one by there. Let's try and take him out. Let's try and take him out. Oh, there we go. He's just He just implodes on himself. Gone. Dead. Okay. Come on. Let's do this, Horde Knight. Let's do Horde Knight. Let's do Horde Knight. So what do you reckon, guys? In the comments below, let me know... Do you think we are going to survive this Horde night? I'm hoping so. I really do. And I think the castle is probably going to be destroyed. Well, maybe the front end anyway. I got a feeling it's going to be destroyed. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not, though. All right. So, because I'm hoping that we can uh, do something big with this afterwards. Maybe even blow it up. I'm not sure yet, guys. We will find out. We will find out. Come on. Oh, not even you've started yet. Come on, let's go. Right, I think I might go down here now and block up these holes by here, to be honest. Just so it gives us a little bit more protection. So I think we'll just put some spikes there for a second, guys. What do you reckon? Also, guys, whilst I'm repairing this now, um, we've got a nice little offer on with Tube, uh, Tube Buddy. Uh, basically, they are helping me uh, massively, guys, um, in terms of you know YouTube tools. Uh, it's an it's a plugin through uh, Chrome and whatnot, and basically, you know, I've every month you get like you know every milestone that you beat, you get uh, new. You know, get to forget to say like you know I've got this far type of thing. That's amazing. They also give you free music access. Um, they give you offers, sponsorships. Um, they help you monetize and everything else like that, which is amazing. And uh, so, if you want to be a part of that, guys, it's uh, you can download the free version, or you can certainly go for the. Um, you can certainly go for the nine pound version which is the pro version which i'm on and i gotta be honest guys it is simply amazing the stuff that it gives you is fabulous and the more you um the more you spend on to buddy it is a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription if you decide to go straight for a monthly paid which is like nine pound upwards the more money and um, the better the um the membership the more perks you get which is amazing i just taken out a block so if you want that guys comment below or i will definitely put it in the description box as well as a pinned post on the comment section so don't forget to go and check it out guys it's free or the cheapest version of it is nine pound so we've got a zombies inside now guys we've got one trying to climb up the ladder so we're just gonna block up this area um, he's going, oh right, okay, he's going straight up, so we need to leave here because he's going to just jump down after me, I reckon. So we're in our main complex now, guys. 
Um, I was thinking about covering up them holes by there, but what? no, no. What's the point? So let's get up our little elevator, and we get to the first floor. And I was thinking straight away, guys, let's get to the second floor. Let's get to the roof access. Um, I got a feeling this is where we're probably going to spend 9% of the Horde night. It is 2300 hours right now, guys, so we've only been hoarding for about a minute. So we are still on early days, guys. The Blood Moon is out. It's red outside. And there's zombies inside my castle. So let's uh, take these out. So oh, that's just not working. Let's get the explosive uh, bolts out. Good night, my friend. Good night. What about him? Now, I'll just leave him for a second. He doesn't seem to be doing any harm. He's trying to run away from my grenades. Or do we get a sniper rifle out? No, let's not destroy that right now. It seems rel relatively quiet, guys. It seems relatively quiet. I have no idea why. The zombies were there. Probably hurt themselves on the... Right, let's get a sniper rifle. So I'm going to take a few shots. I'm just going to take a few blocks. Which is a really annoying. Oh, someone just exploded over there then. Did you see that? Ah. Oh, there we go. Headshot. There he is. He's gone. Good night, sir. Good night. Okay. It seems relatively quiet because they don't like this. It seems quiet. Oh, we got one by there. It's just blowing up. Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, he landed on the spikes, man. Let's just take him out anyway. He had no idea what hit him there. He had no idea. So, so far, so good, guys. We've got a little bit of damage, and that's partly because of my fault um, <laughs> with the explosive arrows. Because, you know, they're just addictive. Simple as us to take him out of there. We've probably taken out our door by now, which is really annoying. But... It's an easy build, guys. If you've, uh, if you're on, on your on creative mode, then this build will take you a matter of hours. If that, if that, guys, if that. So we've just taken out a few zombies now. There doesn't seem much more to come, which is really annoying. I was hoping that it's uh, going to be a big horde night. Um, there's one by there. Let's get him. Let's get. Him. Yes. So there he goes. There he goes. Okay, so we've got a few more around us. I cannot hear roughly where they are. If any. It sounds awful quiet right now, guys. There's something going on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just want some, like, big asshole. Oh, oh, see what I mean, guys? Those are getting stuck. He's getting stuck, are they? And he's still getting hurt now. Still getting hurt right now. This was a good idea to put that some there. Definitely. And I'll just shoot him in the ass just to finish him off. So, what do you reckon, guys? I got a feeling that's it because I don't know. Uh, it's day seven. Maybe it was best to wait for these uh, Horde Knights for a later date in the game. It just seems awful dead, doesn't it? It seems really, really quiet. But there we go, guys. So, what I think we should do now is simply blow this castle up. No, no zombies whatsoever. So I'm thinking, guys, red barrels, and we blow this puppy to smithereens. What do you reckon, guys? I love a big explosion. We haven't had an explosion in a few months. So let's do it, guys. Let's do it. So there we go, guys. Let's, uh, t before we blow this thing up, Let's take a quick look around and see the damage that this uh, little horde knight. I and I, I I mean little guys. This was stupidly little. We've had more luck horde knight wise before now, and I don't understand. Sometimes it can be really really busy. Sometimes it can't. It's really it's is a hit and miss with this game, I think. But the horde knights are to get bigger. That's all I'm saying, guys. I know there's a lot more big Horde Knights to come. Especially, like, you know, Horde Knight 300 and something. And my phone's going off like crazy with notifications from you guys. So, I think... Oh, my God, my phone. Right, okay, guys. So, this is the damage we're facing. Not a lot, believe it or not. Just a few spikes missing here and there. 
one or two little panes of glass from where they've crawled through. See what I mean? The spikes did their jobs, guys. It didn't let too many in. We've got them two, but they're from the beginning, right before the, right before the horde night. None of the spikes above have been affected, apart from the ones I've shot. We've got the doors are missing by her, some of the glass, and we've got one tower that is completely missing, due to my lovely exploding crossbow bolts and a few bullets, obviously, and some zombies. So let's blow this thing up, guys. So we've prepped it, guys, and I love this. It is amazing. Let's just blow this puppy up. So in three, two, one. Oh my god! See, guys, I I love this. I love this. This is simply amazing. Look at it. Blocks flying everywhere. It's not lagging too much at all at the moment, which is amazing. The ground's going as well. The glass is flying every, you can hear glass smashing here and there. It is amazing. And then we've got the back. And the two towers are still standing. How does that work? Oh, no, they're not. They're not. No, no. They're just imploding. They're dead now. That's it, guys. I love a good old explosion, guys. It makes my day. It makes my, t uh, my feet tingle. I love it. Simple as, guys. And there we go, guys. So we are down. Let's just have a look at the aftermath of this explosion before we call it a day for another day. So we've got... You can see the rough layout. That's cool. So we've got the outer corridors, guys. So technically, right now, I'm walking on the actual... Um, you know, the balcony... Balconies, if you want to call them that. The walls. And then by here is where the centre field was. And then inside... This uh, this square block that's running around the outside was where our building was. That's pretty cool. So I'm technically standing in the middle of the middle building right now. So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to check out the two biddy link description in the description and the comment section. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, guys. Please hit the bell icon to get a notification for when I upload next. And I shall see you all soon. Welcome to the Hunter family if you're brand new. Bye-bye for now.